we put a soft capture mechanism, basically a docking system on the bottom of Hubble. And we did that because at some point we have to go up to Hubble and safely either deorbit it or boost it up into a parking orbit. Boosting it into a parking orbit uh, solves the problem of having to bring it back down, but it just leaves the problem for a later generation. If when Hubble's batteries die and it goes cold, I mean, after a few days it will warp and won't be good for science anymore. So that would be building an in-space museum piece. Uh, the reason we have to deorbit it safely is because with the large mirror, 94-inch mirror, uh, that will come down to the Earth you know, as large pieces. Uh, it'll be an uncontrolled entry. To Hubble, Hubble will start tumbling, and we don't know where it will go. And so if that hits somebody and kills them, you know, then the story is not, the ending is not a good story. So we will go up and most likely deorbit Hubble into the Pacific somewhere safely. Uh, the big question on the table is, if we're going to go up to Hubble and install a little bitty rocket to deorbit it, it doesn't take much, should we service it again? And I think that's where this robotic question becomes interesting again. You know, could we do something that's cost effective, that gives Hubble maybe another factor of 10 or 100 more capability uh, that would increase its science? Will Hubble last that long so that we could? These are all open questions and I think are worth discussing.